Welcome back to more Inquisitor. It's time to persecute some people. I'd like to accuse Judge Valerian of heresy. I'm sorry, son. I'm sure I misheard. I would like to accuse Judge Valerian. Oh, then I've heard well. Hmm. To tell you the truth, son, I'm rather confused. Do you really want me to let you arrest my superior Inquisitor? It is unusual indeed, and especially because it's a paladin of the Brotherhood of Righteous who suggests that. Well, I will do it. After all, it is your right and your responsibility. I'm sure you know what fate awaits you if the accusation is proven unjust. You will spend the rest of your days behind bars, providing that the tribunal will show you mercy. What evidence against Judge Valerian do you have? Linda Van Galligan confessed that Judge Valerian ordered her to murder the merchant Kurth O'Neill and Baroness Gwyn Von Weil. Moreover, stonemason Sam Reitman testified that he stole the body of Gwyn Von Weil from the graveyard with the help of Baroness Van Galligan and the Judge Valerian. I also found the broken blade of Judge's dagger near Gwen's coffin, which had been used to force it open. Your evidence is not very convincing, my son. Baroness Linda Van Galligan could have lied to you as Sam Ryman could. The broken blade could have been foisted there near footed grave to blame Judge Valerian for crimes. Nevertheless, you have my consent to arrest him, my son. The truth must be revealed. Thanks. According to the Inquisitorial Cortes, it is also my duty to temporarily assume the office of the judge, with the delegated rights of the Curial Inquisitor, which cannot be performed by Judge Valerian, as he is accused of heresy, unless proven innocent. Congratulations. I don't think it's a reason for congratulations. I personally believe that we are in a rather unfortunate situation, which will be soon explained. I don't know how you came to believe Judge Valerian is behind all the crimes that happened in town, because I consider him the most honorable and most just man I've ever met. His faith is unshakable, and his service to God is flawless. It seems from your tones as if you don't believe me. To tell the truth, I don't believe Judge Valerian is involved in the case, although it's very likely that someone is trying to destroy him, and in such cases, a faithful men should do all we can to purge his name and to expose the real perpetrator. Instead, you come here with so-called convincing evidence asking me to formally accuse him. You, a paladin of the Brotherhood of Righteous. Well, enough speculations. Prove your allegations or take your accusation back. <laughs> well, where is he? First of all, he ran away all of a sudden. Now that I busted his ass. I'd like to submit a proposal to start court proceedings in the case of Sam Wright. As Inquisitorial Prosecutor, I'm obliged to ask whether you have enough evidence for the court proceedings. I do. I thought so. Thereby, I, as Prosecutor of Holy Office, order the trial to be held against Defendant Sven Larsen. The court is going to sit immediately. Inquisitorial Court is hereby called to order. I, Inquisitorial Prosecutor Jeremiah, temporarily authorized to assume the office of judge with the delegated rights of a curial inquisitor, and as such authorized in the name of God, our merciful Lord, and in the name of the Church, our Holy Mother, to prosecute and punish crimes against God and faith, hereby institute proceedings against Sam Ryman, who is charged with heresy, sacrilege, murder, complicity, with a conspiracy against God and King. I hereby ask the prosecution to begin. Thank you, Your Honor. Baroness Linda Van Galligan testified on oath that it was Sam Ryman who had helped her to murder and steal the body of Baroness Gwen Van Weer. According to her testimony, Sam Ryman also took part in a dark Sabbath that led to the alleged summoning of the fallen angel Arathamon. Those are horrible allegations. Do you have any cognate evidence for your claims? The court cannot find him guilty on the basis of one single testimony. Yes, I do. Sam Ryman, while tortured, confessed all that the Baroness Van Van... Galligan had said is true. How disgusting! Until now, the accused seemed like a modest and respectable person, but in fact, he's a perverse heretic who is attracted by having intercourse with hellish powers. If God wouldn't be so merciful, Ryman's soul would surely be lost forever. Fortunately, God forgives our sins, and that's why we will forgive also this sinner, as his soul is purified from sinful body. Therefore, upon I hereby sentence Sam Ryman to death at the stake. The sentence will be carried out immediately. Fire up the flames of justice and may God have mercy on his soul. (coughs) 
It's at the stake of fire already. I'm waiting here to see this motherfucker burn. May God forgive you, fallen soul. So, we just burned some guy alive. Judge Valerian seems to be missing. I'd like to talk to you, Monsignor, if it's possible, of course. I accuse Judge Valerian of heresy. I can see I didn't entice you not to do so. I hope the truth will be revealed soon. It's not good when there are any doubts about the purity of the Inquisition. Damn right. What to do now? I made a backup of my save game in case I'm doing this uh, in the wrong order. Sure, how consequential it is for doing things a certain way, but I guess we'll find out. It's a pretty nice shield. Don't think we need the Orcish key. souls. 163 damage against human. 12 fire, frost, lightning, and poison resistance. And an additional 11 resistance lightning. This stiletto imbued with many magic powers was professionally created by the fallen archangel Azrael himself for one of the mortal followers. Probably for one of the dark prophets walking the face of God's kingdom on earth. In those days when the hundred years war was sowing fear and despair to the hearts of the faithful. The dagger received its name after the legends that surround it. It is believed that when the dagger bereaves somebody of life, and the soul of the victim is not able to re rest in peace, and returns back into the world of mortals, is a terrible undead abomination. Shit's weak, son. Shit's weak. Master of weapons, man. What you got? I want a master weapon now. Oh, journeyman. There we go. Is that two handed? Plus 21 chance to hit. something that does serious damage. Damage! Damn it! Alright, still still gotta find Jillian. Gotta take her. Elfgard. 
Reitman. Got to help out. Uh, what's his face? It's cursed. I have a devil's root on me. I'd like you to brew that miraculous potion. Here's a thousand gold. Constitution? I'll take it. I'll take it. Boom. I'll pay a thousand gold for uh, plus one points. I'm digging the devil's root. Well, I'm not digging. The zombies hit me and taking away my fucking strength. That's definitely what I'm not digging. Better not do that shit again, but cut it out. Way not cool. I'd like to see your goods, witch. You know you want that small shield? Oops, that's all right. You never have too many health potions. That is foul shell. Everything else looks good. Um, hmm. Where do we go now? Let's look around. I still think there's a couple places I haven't been to in the overworld map. I'm trying to save my money. I don't want to have to buy a master weapon if I can find one. Mining Village Cemetery, Astro Bowl. Don't think I've been there yet. I'm not going back to them damn mines until later. Oh yeah, I've been here. <laughs> I tell by the mass destruction. Or maybe these guys caused the mass destruction. Welcome, Knight. My name's John Holbrook, and I'm a new sheriff of Ashenbolt, and I owe it solely to you, and none other for that. If you hadn't killed that orc, Khan Rashka, and rout out all those damn greenskins, I would have never gotten this chance. Thanks! You're welcome, Sheriff. There's much hard work awaiting you here. Yes, you're right. I had to clean out the iron mines of all greenskins that remain there, but I trust we can do that. Frankly speaking, we won't let Ashenbolt to be overrun again. I'm glad to hear that, Sheriff. May I speak with you for a moment? Terribly sorry, Knight, but I have much to do. I hope you won't regard it as resisting the Brotherhood of Righteous if I don't attend to you. Mm. In that case, farewell, Sheriff. Farewell. Thanks again. Yeah. There's off guard. Hello, Sir Knight. Have you proven my innocence to the Duke Weinberg already? That's right. I went through here. I went through here. I cleared this shit out. What does that mean? Everything in this area is dead? Hell's bells. Alright. <laughs> Holy shit. Tucky! Oh, 
on dead get hit with that lightning. It affects on dead. I'm an undead demon lord now. Boom! Bring it on dead. Face Rashkar's fist. Feel my fury. Pick up gold, you guys go ahead and kill everything. I'll sweep this gold up into my coin purse. Don't mind me. Got another crypt here of sorts. I don't really want to go underground again. Sure you go, just take off and destroy the whole cemetery by yourself. Don't leave me any fun. It's Julian! Stop right there! One more step and you're gonna know how deep I can sink my sword into your down belly, knight! How the hell did you find me here? Just snooping around? Or was it somebody from the city who sent you? Well, who are you? It's none of your bloody concern! You shouldn't have stayed away from my business! If you kept to yourself, you wouldn't be in this mess now! A wrong move and you are dead meat! Hmm, well, if I think about it, you'll be the soldier Julian. Am I right? So you know me, kinda surprises, cause I don't know your face! You must be new here! But why the hell do you need to know? Because I promised Sheriff Canterbury to bring you back. You are a deserter. So, the old tyrant hired you to find me, right? That typical of him. He's hiding his ass in the safety of the garrison and asks others to do his job. I tell you, knight, it's not too bad to be an officer. Well, that's not for the people like myself. For the poor who on the breadline with no chance to get any better. Couldn't stand that anymore. I had to get away from that dirt. I had to do something. That's why I became interested in this bitch, Natalia Reichman. First, I thought I could get under her skirt and get the money of her papa, then. Well, but the old fool stuff I like him and threatened to kill me if I looked at her again. Doubt that. Well, anyways, I needed the gold. I said to myself, he's going to pay me well if I return her alive. Of course, after I had some fun with her. Natalia Reichman, I've heard that the Lanchnik Oath Guard killed her. Some of her jewelry was found on him. So, that's what the people say. Ha ha ha, good one. Well, but it's not true. The jewelry found on Offguard, I gave it to him. That nosy bastard caught me talking a likely the bitch out of the city. So I had to give him some of her precious stuff to shut his bloody mouth. Kidnapping is a deadly sin, neighbor. Drop that weapon at once and come with me. Just forget about that, knight. No one's gonna ruin my plans. I'll get her father's money even if it means sending her to pieces. You're not gonna stop me. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, motherfucker. Beat you with Rashgar's fist. Oh my god, that fucking devil's dead. I almost lost all hope of ever being rescued from his dirty hands. I never thought there was such a monster inside him. When he started to court me, I even had the feeling for a short time that he loved me, and that he was the right one. But when my father showed him out, it became apparent money's all he wanted. How lucky I was that you came before he managed to do me more harm. Calm down, child. You have nothing to fear now. I'm so grateful to you, Knight. Will you accompany me back to town to my father, please? I'm sure he will reward you handsomely for all you've done. Certainly. I can't leave you alone in the midst of the wilderness. Let's go. Your father will surely be happy when he sees you again. Boom shakalaka, motherfucker. That's all I got to say, folks. I'm about to wrap up a few questies here. A few questicles. For my chesticles. Now, it looks like you can do some, uh, you can side bad and do evil. I'm gonna try to play the good paladin in this game.
that's mainly because I'd originally planned to be doing Baldur's Gate side by side with this. And I'm going to make an all lawful and chaotic evil party on Baldur's Gate. I'm tired of all the goody goodies, the goody goody LPs out there. It's time to do some nasty evil shit. I'm not sure how deep that crypt is, so we're going to return the little girl here back to her father and also free the name of Offguard Regan. Well, then we'll come back here and deal with this little crypt. there anymore. <laughs> they say you single-handedly killed the Orkish Khan Rashka, is that true? Indeed it is true, with my genie. In that case, it's sure the Almighty has sent you to help us in our suffering. God bless you, sir. Man, I had a brain fart. I forgot where this guy is. Talk to him. I found Juliet, Sheriff. He was hiding in the abandoned chapel near the Dragon Rock. He kidnapped Natalia Reichman so he could blackmail her father. I tried to convince him to come with me, but he attacked me. I had to fuck him up. Ha! Huh? Are you telling me that he kidnapped Natalia Reichman? And he attacked you? And it's good he's dead. Originally, I thought the boy could be disciplined, but obviously I was mistaken. Thank you, Knight. You're some gall for the troubles he caused. I must watch better over my men. All these jails, these jail cells occupied, son. What the hell's going on here? We're slacking. God's head for me. The sooner his rotten soul burns in hell, the better. Of God didn't murder your daughter, right? Like Natalia's alive, and she was kidnapped by the sword of Julian. What? My daughter's alive? Well, but I thought the Lanch Neck of God murdered her because they found jewelry on him, and he was trying to sell it in town. I had no idea Natalia could be alive. I am so glad you didn't kill off God Knight. And what about my daughter? You can see for yourself, good man. I brought your daughter back. Heavens, I hope my eyes aren't deceiving me. Is it really you, Natalia? God, thank you. I'm sorry I blasphemed. Now I can see that you're just in 
will never turn your face away from me. I thank you, knight. Thank you with all my heart. Please accept these humble gifts as tokens of my gratitude. I'm searching for heretics here in Hillbrand. Do you suspect anyone? I've had some rumors about Duke Reinberg, knight. I usually don't pay much attention to gossip, but one seems not to be too far from the truth. I'm sure you remember the scourges of God, people and animals dying of famine, and the Black Death, rains of fire devouring dozens of cities and villages. I myself lost most of my property in Duke Weinberg. It almost seems that the scourges of God have wounded him. There's still room and granaries full. None of his family members died. All his houses are standing proud and tall. That's why I think this gossip about his compact, compact with Bezembold can be true. Come back and talk to you later, we will. Who are you, Knight? I don't know you. You must be new to him, right? But we've talked all over. Well, if that's possible, what can I do for you? You can kiss my ass. I don't need to talk to you. Well, yeah, apparently I missed a chest in the uh, Orc boss's lair. All right, though. I'll take my little teleportation portal. We'll make a little visit back down there when I go see those ghosts and whoop that ass. Hey, yes. All right, let's go tell Off Guard Knight that he's safe and wrap it up. Remember, kids, always wrap it up, especially if she's ugly. That means she'll fuck anything. Lesson from the game order. Class is dismissed. Really, you guys are gonna give me a bunch of common shit? This is a disgrace. This is how you treat your lord? A long sword of frost damage? Are you serious? Get this shit out of here. I do got 40,000 gold now, so. Yeah. Alright, here we are at Asher Ballsack. Yeah. We can relieve Ulfgaard Lanschnick. We don't have to hide out in this little cottage anymore. Jesus Christ. I gotta talk to Duke Weinberg first. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, don't run or anything. Let's just power walk the whole game. Of course, considering the walk animations, it's probably best if you didn't run. Oh yeah, don't let me forget, you gotta go visit that troll cave again. Now that I have my levitation. Remind me to do that next video. Thank you. I've heard that Lanschnick Ulfgaard was charged with the murder of Natalia Reichmann. Yes, that's true. He was apprehended when he was trying to sell some jewelry he had taken from him. A revolting case. The merchant Reichman is one of the most respectable citizens of Hilbrandt. Why did it have to be his daughter to become the victim? Of course, is innocent, your grace. The tired of Reichman was kidnapped by the soldier Julian so he could get money from her father. I found him hiding together with kidnapped Natalia in the abandoned chapel near the Dragon Rock. Really? Natalia was kidnapped by the deserter? In that case, of course, is innocent, and that all accusations are false. I'm glad the truth was revealed. Me too, Your Grace. Farewell. Now give me all your money. Uh -oh, almost down to a page of questicles. Yeah. 
house at night to have you proven my innocence to Duke Weinberg. Yes, of God. Duke Weinberg canceled the Senate. Your freedom. I can't believe it. You really do it? Is it some kind of trick? No. And I'm saved. God forgive me for ever doubting your justice. Thank you, Sir Knight. I'm forever indebted to you. What can I do to repay you? I might like someone like you. Do you want to join me? Are you serious? Would you really want to be accompanied by a landschneck who's always having troubles with the law? You are a brave one, however, my services are not for free. They cost 500 gold pieces for a hundred slain enemies. Do you still want me to join you? As I said, I really needed someone like you. Alright. Thank you, Sir Knight. You won't be sorry for your decision. You'll see. But I can see you already have company. Hugo de Montes, the paladin. It might be a problem. I trust you, Sir Knight, but I can see no reason to trust Hugo. Dismiss him, and I shall follow you even to hell. I'm not going to dismiss anyone, off guard. If you don't like it, you, can, you can't stay in my party. It's a pity, Sir Knight. I wish you all the best, and if you change your mind, you'll know where to find me. Well, well, damn it, are your stats better? Are you... can you fight better than Hugo? I'll ask the crowd. People of YouTube, do I take Hugo? Or do I pay some asshole 500 gold pieces for every hundred enemy slain? Which doesn't sound like a lot of money, but... Is he worth his weight in gold, is the question. He should have joined for free. I get fame and glory and lots of bitches. Okay, so I don't get any bitches, but I get fame and glory. Alright, what else could you want? The rest will follow. Alright, down to one page of questicles. Judge Valerian. Okay, Master Edmund the other eyes. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna arrest uh, sentence him. We need to check out what's your face's body. Alright, uh, I'm not sure where to go at this point. So I'm going to walk around a little bit in between this video and the next. I think I should go talk to Master D Edmund D. R. Bias if he has anything to say real quick. Well, no big, no big deal. I shall figure it out. Cause I'm fucking good. I'm so fucking good, man. I'm just glad that fucking damn work mine is over with. Oh my god. all walking toward me. Baroness Linda Van Galligan pleaded her sins before dying, Master. She confessed she committed all those crimes in order to prepare a Sabbath of witches, and during the Sabbath of Fallen, Angel Arthamon was supposed to be summoned. Furthermore, she said that Judge Valerian masterminded all the villainy. What do you think about it? You have taken me aback, brother. I have never doubted Baroness Linda Van Galligan as a heretic, but I cannot believe Judge Valerian would be behind all that. I have heard enough about Valerian to know he's a willful man persisting on his first opinion. Be it who are, whosoever, but it seems quite odd to me to think he's a heretic. Well? Furthermore, I'm shocked by the mention of the fallen angel Arthamon. It has to be a mistake, because it's unthinkable to summon fallen angel Arthamon. Fallen angels cannot be summoned into this world because it would disprove all what the holy scriptures teach us. But no matter what's the truth, in my opinion, proves heretics have gathered around Baroness Linda Van Galligan are not simple charlatans. They are a real danger of the realm. If I were you, I would quickly find out what's the truth behind these speculations. You might have their hands in it. Based on the denunciation made by Linda Van Galligan, I decided to arrest Sam Ryder. When tortured, he confessed he helped Baron Linda Van Galligan to repair the heretical Sabbath at which fallen angel Arthamon was reputedly summoned. Much like Baroness, he asserted that Judge Valerian masterminded that crime. What do you think? The investigation exceeded my expectations, brother. I have to say I'm almost taken by surprise. I've never doubted Baron Linda Van Galligan as a heretic. And I'm also not taken aback by Sam Ryman helping him. But it's queer that confessions both accord in the matter of Judge Valerian. Really? That's it? 
you thanks. Alright folks, thank you for watching. We'll see you again with some more Inquisitor!